In this video we would learn about when you install a Facebook pixel on the website you see I already installed a Facebook pixel on the website but after I've installed Facebook pixel on my website the first thing that Facebook sends is the page view right if you want to see that you can come to my Google Tag Manager which I'm using to deploy the Facebook pixel on the website right so in my previous videos I've showed extensively about I've, I've spoken ex extensively about the Facebook pixel how a Facebook pixel is initialized and uh, this this is the Facebook pixel you see this is the external JavaScript file and this is the JavaScript library that Facebook will load to perform all the actions that you expect Facebook to do when people visit like you know tracking or several stuff right so this is the initialization this is in it this is the pixel ID and then Facebook is uh, you know getting the request saying this is a function FBQ function and in these there are two parameters right or you call it arguments the argument is track and page view so whenever this pixel loads Facebook will track saying a visitor has come and he ended up loading a page that means there was a page load and whenever page loads Google Facebook will track it as a page view right now so if you come back here I've already pasted this on my site so if I come back to my website let me go and refresh the page again you see the Facebook pixel is already deployed on my site now when you come to Facebook pixel right you have this uh, extension from Facebook called Facebook pixel helper which is going to help you debug if the uh, pixel is fired properly or if you've implemented any standard events or custom events and those custom events are properly triggered right that means Facebook is actually getting this information from your website when people do certain actions right now when you come here you have page view obviously it is triggered and you also find the pixel ID but you see something called micro data automatically detected now what is this micro data right if you come here what Facebook is doing right just when you deploy the Facebook pixel Facebook is not just tracking the page view it is going into the the back end of your website the the entire the document the HTML document and try and get as much information as possible they're trying to read the uh, the entire HTML document and try and fetch as much information as possible from the web page and then transferring it from your web page to Google Facebook server you see I did not do it I only implemented Facebook pixel right but Facebook is still taking the information from my website you know see what information is being uh, uh, it, it, it's taking from my site schema okay forget about it and you come to open graph you see take the see the information it is taking the information as in the 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 title of the product is two layer lucky bamboo you see right and and, and you see and uh, it is even taking the information as the site name is hi Asha right that is exactly what I have put right you see image this is the image the image you are see HTTPS and it's WP content uploads and this is the image file and it's even and, and, and checking the image perfect URL for the image and it's also taking the image dimensions it is taking the image alt attribute for every image we put the alt attribute right look at the information that Facebook is taking from your website even you know even when you don't send this information they they try and go into a website and try and go and check the HTML document of a website and try to fetch as much information as possible and then transfer it from your you know web page to Facebook server along with pixel we generally think we only implemented Facebook pixel and Facebook is going to track the page view but look at this information you see it's even taking the product price it's even taking the currency right it is even taking the product availability guys this is this is something very very serious right now let, 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 let me take you right if, if, if you if you implement if you're implementing something called dynamic remarketing through Facebook ads Facebook tells you that not just you send the information about a page view you also should be sending the information with view content and with view content you should be you should be sending the information about the page name or you know the currency or the price right in, in, in case you wanted to create more custom audiences so my whole point here is Facebook is not just waiting for you to track page view the moment when you deploy Facebook pixel Facebook is going beyond and trying to take as much information as possible so what should I do to stop it what should I do to stop it you see even taking the meta information is taking the the meta information which is there on my site backend right you see pixel location pixel is fired on this particular page so but I don't want this information to be shared with Facebook I only want system to take the page view hit so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the Facebook pixel and here in Facebook pixel I will write a small line of code and what this small line of code will do is it will say you see FBQ set auto config to false and when I write this snippet of code and the pixel ID what happens is 
Facebook will not take that automatic micro data from my site. It will only take the information which I have authorized Facebook to take from my page. So here you go. I made a small change to my uh, tag, the Facebook pixel tag, and then go preview it. Now come to the site, refresh the site again. Wait for the pixel helper Chrome uh, extension to, to fire the pixel. And then let's go and see. You see, there's no micro data anymore. Why that micro data is not there anymore? Because I have told or I have instructed Facebook Pixel not to take this micro data automatically without my permission. You're only supposed to take the information which I authorize you to do, right? In case I want to fire standard events or custom events, but still I will make sure that I would put this function FBQ set auto config to false. And for which pixel? This is the pixel ID. And this should be done even before you initialize the Facebook pixel. This is the code that will initialize the Facebook pixel. But even before your pixel is initialized, you got to put this code. Now question, how did I get this code? Facebook in their developers help center, they gave it very clearly. And they said, this is how uh, the automatic configuration, you see, here they said, put this. That's exactly what I have done. Right. And okay, so what we were trying to do a while back is we were just trying to see this information, right? Give me one moment. Yeah. Where is that? Right. I, I just want to show you the micro data. Now you see add to cart, right? Along with add to cart, what I'm supposed to do is I'm going to support I'm supposed to send the additional information. But with micro data, what is Facebook doing? Facebook is taking that information all by itself without even knowing, without even me knowing it, right? So Facebook is working at a deeper level. That, that is why you have to really trust Facebook. So when they talk about ad delivery, you know, when you create those Facebook custom audiences, they understand who is more likely to perform. And when they create lookalike audiences, this is exactly what they're going to take into the core account and then say, hey, I'm going to create a custom audience for people based on your uh, I'm, I'm going to create a lookalike audience based on your custom audiences and how are they going to do that? This is the information. So their tentacles go really deep on the website and try and capture a lot of information in the form of micro data, which I don't want. So I've simply went and I put that one line of code and Facebook is not taking that information and Facebook is only taking the information, which is page view. Right guys. And uh, in my next video, I'm going to talk about something where if you're working with uh, you know a client right and this client happened to work with two different agencies one agency is he works saying you promote my brand and do the branding part and then he works with the other agency and he says you do the lead generation part he's not going to put his eggs in one bucket he's going to you know, separate his egg and put it in two different baskets so he's going to work with two different agencies and both those agencies want to put their pixel so how are you going to put two pixels on one website how are we going to put two pixels on one website? This is a video. This is a complete new video, which I'm going to put in the next, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe next time when I create a video, this will be the topic that I will be creating. But until then, please go through all the videos, the Google ads playlist, we've created Facebook ads playlist this is immense, kind of very, very in depth. And again, you learn so much that I don't think otherwise you'd be able to even find them or find something that is going to take your existing skills to another level. Thank you so much and uh, I will see you with another video.